Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. We just saw this lane, right? Lona plus Disruptor on EG. A stun that's pretty long range and that's kind of... And of course you provide a lot of vision, but... I the one biggest thing, Gardic? He's taking a lot of hits. Oh, yeah. Could go down here needs, I think, two more hits and uh, Kuka Hook will get it. That's first blunt going the way of the Ursa and like love and hate relationship with the Timber Song. Mm. It's very much dependent on these first few levels. And uh, oh, speaking of, where's Thompson or bottom side? They get the kill. Uh, yeah, and plus, by the way, like, what well, Tiny's got what no armor, so him going up against Monty with the, with the Jingu mastery off can do a lot. But uh, speaking of Monty, he's taking he's taking a few hits, but. Oh, nice Ooh, dodge. Did you actually dodge that? Oh, you did. Okay. Well, it think... doesn't matter. <laughs> Venomancer, so I also know of the like, okay, like I, I will apply my ulti to you, but you won't start taking damage from it until your BKB is out, which is also just like a very fun way to think about the game. <laughs> no, I, just, I just like the ice running one point. He's like, either, oh, wow, that's, that's another one, and they might go for more. Oh, my Ooh. goodness, that salve. <laughs> Dude, Monty's got the. He's got, he can. He's he, this is a good year for him. Honestly, the way this guy seems to be a me mechanical god right now, is he gonna be land, able to land this one hit? Gets oh. it. And this from the the Monkey King being the pause board. Monkey King pause board has been very popular. It, it's been growing up. I think uh, especially in Western EU, it's been getting a lot of uh, screen time. Uh, it's a pretty good hero for like kind of finding and starting fights for your team. So it's not it's not some outlandish pick like you know Matthew Oy. playing the Ember Spirit, but being of outlandish here. Well oh, done. Robo Z barely getting away here. Who picks up the haste? It's Lewis. He's fast and looks like they will get the kill on Gardic. Unfortunately, no heroes or units around whenever you use the Soul Rip. You coming in? Oh, maybe they can actually turn this one through a bit. I mean, Jingu Sacks are large. It is still a two o three Luna, so a lot of single target damage. And Gardic just saving that glimpse to send the Monkey King all the way back. No more Boundless Strength, so we'll end up falling Um uh, But still, I, I would say a fair amount of time with three heroes in your lane. And boy, Vitaly is like, could I please have someone come back? Yeah, does he actually have uh, the points? In he does have one point in the Tombstone as well, so those zombies could, you know, like there's really nothing that Timbersaw loves more than hitting a Tombstone. Yeah, the, oh, well. Yeah. Oh, toss up. They have the Eclipse now. A uh, pretty interesting thing to do, right? Like, it was all over the map, honestly. No, it's been very nice. Uh, I will say there's still an advantage for Alliance. We'll see if that goes away with this cake up because they will have the X Boat and Torrent taking down El Misho. And, uh, well, Analog is very, very close to that. Uh, um, it's not the longest cooldown. You might, you might as well just secure it. If he, if he pops an ultimate, then it's going to be a hard time for, for them bringing him down. So, a good move by Alliance. In the game, it just doesn't feel as necessary to hold, right? Like, mm. it, now that the Cyber Storm is down, are you still going to lose another hero? Maybe you'll lose your Timber Saw for it. Oy. Unfortunately, I don't think that the Static Storm was going to save that uh, death from the Timber anyway. So, still, nice find from Kali. They are going to send back the Monkey King here into the Splitter. So, Analog wanting to pick up a free kill for himself. Bloodstone is complete, so even going to get some mana off of it. It's like he's here and he's there. Amisho, is he uh, is he gonna be going somewhere? I don't know. I mean, they have the torrent up. He's actually turned this back around. Split Earth right on top. No, maybe it was a bit late. Analog didn't believe that Glimpse. it was actually gonna happen. They still glimpsed back Robo Z though, and uh, they will fall. Amisho picking up the kill. It seems like they were starting on the tiny, but instead they're the ones who lost their mid laner. To the this cliff fort they have, they do see Robo Z. They do tossing him back again. He has the BKB, so the split Earth. It'll pop, but Robo Z does get that BKB off, so he's not feeling too sad just yet. Tally? Well, maybe oh. he wants to try to find something else here. No! Oh. That's not Cliff uh, Tombstone. Unfortunate. No, it's uh, the next Cliff Tombstone, and that's a, honestly a really good boundless strike, but they do cut down the truth that the Monkey King was on, so he's going to be out of commission for a few seconds here. One of his kisses actually get dodged out for the most part from Alliance, and with the boat coming in, they will get a nice hit. Oh, on to two! They actually end up taking out Omisho and Vitaly with that boat, and now it's the Monkey King's job just to keep everybody in vision. Make sure that the rest of the team can kind of come in and try to finish this off. Lumiere's going to get out. X up on Analog, and I think the rest of the team has left him. How many can he take out? It looks like nobody. Monty getting another kill. It's a double for the pause for Monkey and Lumiere. I mean, he had TP'd out in time, but he is the only one left alive. By Alliance, but in the end, Kali feeling like they just cannot take the fight. Uh, interesting. Uh, that was 
I would have thought that maybe they would consider it, but they just, they, I guess they just feel like confident enough that they don't need to, they need to force it. Mm. You know, they think that we can go, we are draft skills better late game, so we don't have to be too worried about it. It's a really hard decision. I, I'm unsure of who, like, clearly takes Wait. the late game. Oh, Static Storm. I mean, they found the Monkey King. Can send him through that kinetic field with the cookie, so we'll lose one. Now, Kuka Hook. Oh, no, he's going to get sent on back. No, pop into BKB. He doesn't want to go back in, so that's, I believe, the first BKB from him, and uh, that is. I mean, you live, but that's true. Oh, not the first way that's not the that. cookie. Robo Z also forced to pop it. He'll use the tide to send everybody back, but. I think he's still in a bit of danger if he doesn't get out of here quick. That oh no, he is, he is clearly in danger. X is himself, a pretty nice play, but uh, does not manage to pull himself back in time. So, Gims will take him, and he is just uh, that's on the Luna. Yes. So if the Ursa does manage to get on top of you, like Ursa can kill it, it's not quite over yet. The Basher on the way, oh. that'll be the true test. But oh, here they go. Onto the Timber Saw here. Vitaly, it's a lot of magical damage. They will take him just down, and now the Ursa feels kind of free to fight these because there is no Halberd. You can kind of just get on whoever you want, but a nice avalanche and a blink out from El Misho will keep him alive. He's actually going for the Yule Scepter now. So very good versus the Kunkka. We have the, the two sets of drag back abilities. So uh, X is typically a good counter to the to the Glimpse, but uh, X, you can Yules through. Glimpse, you cannot. So very good Yules pick up here eventually by the Tiny, even though he will die, get set back a bit. Uh, Vital building to be out of position and get hit, or am I building to be like a good player, not get hit, and just do damage from where I'm at, right? And yes. Really, like, celery, right, my team. So like, I do agree oh. that this is the way to go. Robo. Uh, I was. Ooh, Robo Z, Pommel to BKB. We'll use Tidal Wave again, trying to TP out, but uh, no, we'll not get away in time. Luna will Hurricane Pike in, find the kill, and uh, that's almost 400 gold going straight to Lumiere, so very nice. I will say somehow this net worth lead has not grown, even though we just saw a kill. It's still just 5k. Right, to be fair, before the hey, that's gonna be a dead monkey. But to be fair, oh, yeah. hey, it's crap. there you go. I was going to say, before that, they were able to get a couple of kills on uh, Kali's side, so... I think they need to take a definitive map control, right? Like, you can't really just run into Roshan on your own. You either need to drag Alliance bottom and let your Ursa take it there by himself, or you need to take a fight here. And uh, by the way, guys, click the Bet Boom banner below the stream. Uh, find out more about the perks they're offering. Uh, one perk that <laughs> Vitaly is offering is a dead snap fire. Mm. And boy, Ursa yields up into the sky after the enrage. Trying to turn this back around on analog. He popped the BKB, but Ursa it seems like he's run out of time. So now they're going to turn back in for a line. They bump back on this disruptor, but they don't really have an easy way to get back into the fight. Had to go Wee. to the outpost. Just now getting back into the fight of the Undying. It didn't even really need that plus nice one here. Wave. They're going to tidal wave back this Luna. Luna, no Aegis anymore. Having to pop the BKB. They need a little bit more damage. Dust is up. They had the vision finally, but Lumiere, he gets away. There is no follow-up damage. The Ursa doesn't want to reinitiate here, and they'll also lose Robo Z. However, Guardi does die back. So we already saw the Yules and the Halberd against the Ursa used to perfection. So for uh, Kali, I'd almost be more down for like Hey, Kunkka, you should make yourself someone that they have to worry about. Maybe not a crit stick, but, you know, maybe Ags is something good that you have to, like, try to play around and kite out this title. Oh, oh no. Uh, it looks like we will not get to the waterworks anytime soon here. Throwing down the boat, so the buff is nice, and they may actually get on top of Analog enough. He's using himself into the air. The damage may be enough. They do have it. They kill Analog. They also kill Garnic, and only losing Monty at the moment. So Lumiere. Ooh. Is she oh, no, they don't have vision. They don't know. All they know is they're hitting someone here. Now they have found out the Timber Saw. So they just need a little bit more damage here. Somebody needs to run on top because Vitaly could clean up if there's nobody else around. And oh, he did clean one. Okay, he still gets Hermit, but uh, Coco Hook will still take down the Timber Saw right here. Mm. You get a nice pick. They have both Cliff Wars for Kali. This could be a really good area for them to fight. Yeah, and Tombstone is down. It seems like he's done his job, and they will take down El Misha, so they'll trade one for one, but again, the Tombstone, it's out. But you need to cut it back, it feels like. Monty's popping with the BKB. They're chasing into the other wards here for Alliance, but you don't want to really fight there. They're trying to drag back the tally using the Axe Boat. They'll even, oh, uh, you're going to take a bit of magic damage there with the e or the uh, the Ghost Scepter. But again, Alliance doing a good job. Fight on their wards, Ooh. fight on their turns, and Lewis, that's a dieback now on the Undying, and oh, Luna! Four steps through, finds the Monkey King, will knock him off of his perch. A very large stun for the Monkey, and he will fall. 
But we've got this multi prawn engagement where, oh no, the E-Blade Kuko gave it and rage off, but immediately the Yules comes out as well. He needs to be able to back out of this one, but I think it's too late for him. He needs to be able to take someone down, but in fact, he'll get no one. Sweet. And the Ursa has fallen. I think they were like, wow, he's really doing, he's doing it, you know? Then you look at the other side, and Ursa gets one down, and like they both got one kill, solo kill, and then they just up against the other two cores, but it was just not enough, nowhere for Kuko Hook to win that. He is farmed, by the way. I mean, I know he's not farmed compared to the Luna, but. He is relatively farmed. Oh yeah, no, he, he does feel pretty thick right now, and uh, Lewis going to kind of give to the Alliance Fund. And Lumiere, by the way, he's got Satanic and Aegis and BKB, so uh, good luck with that one. Oh, oh yeah, I don't think he can- And another dude, Lumiere, stop it please! That's another time where he forces through the trees, takes down the Monkey King, Kuko with the BKB, and it's been kited out once again. Now he's gonna be able to turn back onto Lumiere, so the Luna does megas. fall just once. But yeah, the Megas are already down. We're gonna use the Static Storm on two! They toss in the Undyne as well, and GG is called. Game one, well in hand to Alliance, and time. for the third time, they get the fourth oh, step yeah. through onto the Monkey King, and Lumiere with the third eye in the trees. Well, absolutely well, well played. Game, but I, I was just expecting Luna. I think that's how, that's why. It Seems like they have really good chance of taking it, but Matt, I gotta say, I like Kali's draft a little bit more this game, you know? I mean, I know that, you know, it's uh, it's Visage versus Monkey King. Oh, well, who cares? There's gonna be a fight. Oh, boy. I mean, there, there's always fights. It's just that this time the Snapfire is the one that goes down. Lumiere with first blood, so I, I you know, again, Monkey King looking at, very strong in the early game. However, I think he does die here. Uh, oh! Just give them that and then what they need. But yeah, I'm, all, <laughs> I'm all in on Kali. Ooh, nice glimpse. Oh, yeah, I like it. I mean, uh, just got the Jingu as well from Lumiere, so he's got the sacks. He's going to get a nice Balmus and then another kill. Uh, did not. I'm going to win the late stage by denying a lot of creeps to the enemy, but then. Uh, Alco's like, I get so much bonus gold from killing them that it's, I, you know, it's way better for me. Monty losing his life again? Oh, possibly, probably, possibly, definitely. You were, you, you, I like how decisive you are with these things, uh, by the way. Always gotta open up, you know, can't be wrong, just be indecisive. Uh, Physical damage just obliterated it for a, a lot of people. But then, you know, people started realizing, like, oh, oh the reason that I liked this was because there was so much magic damage. And uh, this time, there's a lot of physical damage. He's dominating. Literally dominating. He died once at the beginning of the game. And now we have seen a very large kill streak for Lumiere here. And, uh, well. Yeah, that's... I totally would have been right. But uh, for analog, he goes top, takes the, the tier one. So his map's starting to shrink a little bit from Kali, which is kind of important, but it's kind of a niche. It's, uh. <laughs> Is this even gonna happen? I mean, they get a concoction from very far away. It's oh. actually a black hole used. I mean, Enigma was leaving nothing to chance. Lewis also falls just barely to the left track here. And then on the other oh. side, Lumiere, it's kills on kills on kills for Alliance. And uh, Kali, they got some catching up to do. I mean, all he got was Almisha out of that. And check out the cores, the only one who's getting farmed. It's not gonna take too long for him to get. Actually, Monty, is he gonna be losing his life? Imagine if he was a Monkey King, he could jump away right now. Yeah, no. Nice tombstone though dropped from him. He doesn't have any way to heal himself anymore. Oh, Monty actually gets another decay off. The glimpse doesn't kill him. Oh my goodness, and Omisha. Holy, dude, Monty. I mean, I, I know that it's looked pretty rough uh, before, but you know, only, I think it was 1.2 to 4. Recalling it and one of the earlier yes. ones, so like, uh, you know, a bit closer than what we've had before. Oh. El Misho going down. I think the one thing that is kind of keeping me held up right now is Eliza well, going mid and Kali. Are they gonna be going back to defend this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like these towers mean so much to you right now. Oh. Ooh, dodge it with a snowball. Thank god, Robo Z. That could have been dangerous. Now he's still in danger with that static storm up top. A nice punch out. Wonder is gonna land down. They'll take this trade using the Mortimers to take down the Enigma. And Whoa, okay, I thought it was a trade, but Robo Z, he's actually maybe getting away. No, the urn will finally take him down from Vitaly from the grave. Getting the kill, and uh, speaking of the grave here, uh, Gravekeeper's Cloak, I don't think will protect you from this one. Better drop some nice birds here. Drop one, run away, drop two, continue. Nope, oh, oh, there's no drop Oy. two. Okay, there's drop two. Uh, I think he still dies here, though. He loves to surprisingly love him. Alchemist is still farming well, but they might be losing this T1. That, with that, a lot of map control is gone for Kali. Holy, 
yeah, uh, Monty. I think this may be... He's gone too far. Unfortunate. I've liked seeing the pause for Undying waver with death and uh, and win out, but it's still... Oh, no. Uh, Vitaly? Uh, maybe in a bit of danger. No black hole yet, but the... Oh, avalanche! Who needs black hole when you just hit an avalanche on four people? They even used blue cards and Kukuk. Room too deep. I mean, oh, Lumiere is just absolutely cleaning up everybody on Kali. A 3,000 net worth lead now, and... Mag Magician's a really good caster. Oh, yeah, oh no. Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, let's try. It looks like they're going to start a fight on El Misha. A nice avalanche out. Looks like they're going to collect some birds, maybe, even though they have been dropped down. Oh, no. I, I guess maybe they don't want to encroach onto it. Monty, he's already used his ulti form. That's oh, a glimpse. God. They're going to go for him? He gets dragged back very far. Cooking in a way, but the Midnight Pulse is doing some pretty good damage. Now Lumiere is in. Pretty deep, honestly, for the Monkey King, but still, without the Snapfire, he just doesn't have any fear. He's able to drop in as much as he wants, and, uh, well, another kill there for the Monkey. I, I like that his own allies. A 5-on-5 five five is so in favor of Alliance, it's crazy. And not just because of the fact that they have a huge net with advantage, despite the outcomes on the other side. We'll see, here we go, and... I ain't trying for it. Analog popping the pulse, and well, the static storm will kind of dissuade everything from Kali. Black hole as well, but it gets immediately cancelled. I'm not sure what the idea was from it. Lots uh, of zombies. Yeah, I mean, the zombies are also putting in some big work, but Lumiere already has a Jingu stack, trying to pop up the Wukongs. We'll get it. Oh. They tossed in Snapfire and said, yes, please die, because he gets boundless and killed immediately. Or are gone and Lumiere picking up the triple. Uh, finishing the boots of bearing. I don't know if I love that. I'm not I don't sure know. either. And oh no, I, you know what I don't love? I don't love seeing Kuka Hook go down. Now, I like seeing the evasion, but unfortunately, with that kinetic field, Kuka Hook is dead. Dead. I'm trying to think about something positive for Kali. You know, you're six thousand gold behind with an alchemist on your team. Your two of your cores have basically. I'm not gonna say they have no net worth because you know it's like six thousand, eight thousand. Like that, they're that far behind, but they're significantly behind. Like Hermit is barely ahead of Almisha. Yeah, it's it's back and forth as well. Uh, and uh, Mortimer's kisses, but the BKB from Analog. This is where things get much worse because it seems like this Mortimer's was how they were turning around these fights, but now mm. with the BKB out from Analog, they just have to kite it. But I don't I don't think you get to press the Mortimers after BKB is used. Analog, I just don't see what else you need to do. Lumiere. Oh no. They maybe even find some other ones. Monty's gonna go down here. Vitaly will help them pick that up. And now a Lumiere. I mean, is there anything to stop him from just, like, finding everybody on Kali? Nope. Uh, not at all. I mean, unless they can snowball all the way back to their own fountain with the, with Tusk, that's just not happening. Kali, the map and now I think you just got to be careful because Alliance is ready to show themselves. Oh, Monty. Um, here we go. Oh, no, the Avatars. That actually hits on two to start it off. BKB already off from uh, Analog, and with the Arcane Rune, yeah, he's going to pop it off some pretty big damage. First, they'll lose the Undying. Now they're going to turn back around to where the Monkey King is, and, well, uh, it looks like they're going to turn their sights on Snapfire. And Robo Z as well. I mean, he gets a nice snowball, but this is going to be a three for none trade. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, they still get him. All right, Lumiere. He's been hopping around a good amount this game. Fine. There's no way they're going to catch him. Okay. Uh, someone cut him from the tree. Oh, oh. no. Are you kidding? Oh, is it a bait? Is it all just an elaborate bait? They're going to find the tiny here first. But they oh, they do cut the tree. However, remember, this will only be the first life. He does have an Aegis. No, They're going to jump it back. Oh, the BKB. Uh, no, he doesn't yet. He has to pop the BKB immediately. Analog is the one with the Aegis. And Kuka Hook. I mean, he has to run back with the Glints. This is going to send him right into the Wukong's command. They will take him down here for sure. And Lumiere, they were so close. We were on the verge of greatness. And still, they can't finish off. That True. This is a great use. It is really good as well. And Hermit's yeah, seven. Hermit. How many deaths does he have? How many deaths does he have in this game? He's got six. Oh, it's six. I, I also thought he died a little bit more. Yeah. That's... Same as El Misho, who he's you know tied net worth with, and Monty. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh. yeah, you're not making that out of somebody. No. Honestly, I feel like a lot of the I think we saw five deaths on Hermit in the laning stage. So honestly, he probably hasn't died for a long time. Oh, 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 oh! We're team! We're team! Team is on top! I mean, can they. Team? Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was enough, guys. <laughs> I'm happy with that.
Uh, one minute left on the age, it's still worth to take it out of, their, out of his hand. Can they jump on Lumiere? A reminder, there's always a black hole, and they just go oh, straight oh, up oh, for oh, it. Oh, they're going, they're going, they're going, do they have it? They have it! They get the kill, and black hole used on two. This is the BKB of the Alchemist, but the damage is too overwhelming. Oh, They've lost the Monkey King, but at what cost, Tato? Uh, probably game two. You know, probably their, their Division 1 chances as well. And Vati gonna be losing. I love how he, yeah, he's just dead. And they're just gonna go for the plus Lewis. I was gonna say plus one, but it's more like, yeah, they're just gonna go for the thrones. It doesn't even matter. Kali calls GG, and what a one sided stomp. I think this was our fastest game of the day. Alliance didn't give Kali a chance in this one.